Hello, it's James and welcome to the Movie Lad channel today once again. And today I'd like to talk to you about <laughs> it sounds like a public service announcement. I'd like to talk you to you about buying movies on a budget. Again. Well, sort of. It's sort of relative to the pickups I've got. So I'll just explain uh what I done over the last week or so. So, you know, again I'm not a rich guy and if I want to get movies from my collection I've got to find a way of doing that without spending too much out of the family budget because we've got other things, cost of living, things like that. So I always try and find things that I can trade in that I'll get more money for and I can get more vouchers for and then I can get something I want. So say for example I find something that's that's for ten pounds it trades in for twenty. I get the twenty pound voucher and then I can buy the thing from my collection that's only costing me ten. So it's not too far out of my budget. So on that note, uh last week I was looking at eBay and they had Cannonball Run one and two. This set here. Uh for eight ninety nine. And it traded in at that point for sixteen pounds. And I was like, okay. £8.99. That's, so that's no £7 increase on the voucher. So what I'll do is I have Cannonball 1, the first one, but I don't have the second one. So what I'll do is I'll buy this set and I'll buy another one and I'll take it down to CX, trade it in and get a £16 voucher. But life doesn't always work out that way. By the time that the, the Cannonball Run 2 uh, set arrived, I it dropped out the £13 voucher, but I still took it in and traded it in, and I've kept the one I've got. I've also got the first Cannonball run, and I can trade that in for 5 or 6, but that's a really nice addition, so I've not decided whether I'm going to do that or not yet. So, I've done that, and was speaking to Roy over the course of the week, and he was telling me about his old LED TV. Yes, Roy, we know you've got an OLED TV and I've not got one. <laughs> I'm only joking. I sent him a text saying, uh, I sent him a text or a message saying, Roy, have you got a big box? He goes, yes. And, I, and he obviously knew what was coming. I said, just put your OLED TV in it and post it to me. I was just joking. Uh, but he was telling me that he watched a couple of movies uh, in 4K on the OLED TV and the one he was particularly impressed with was Jaws. And uh, coincidentally, when I was trading the Cannonball run into CX they had they had the Jaws on 4K so and I, I've wanted to pick that up and I would normally pick it up for about I would have picked that up for about £10 but I had a £13 voucher so traded in Cannonball Run that I paid £8.99 for so got the job got the Jaws uh, on on there so I picked that up as you can see it's got the CX stickers off and I, to be honest with you I was going to peel them off but I've got a sore thumb right now poor me Sort of yeah, well, it really hurts. I must have cut my nail too short. It really, really hurts when I'm pressing stuff and stuff. So, um, uh, and my tooth still hurts, by the way. Oh, for crying out loud. And uh, to be honest with you, having a cherry coke with ice probably doesn't, isn't it, the best thing to do with it. Uh, oh, he's put the receipt in there. Uh, so, came with a nice slip cover, but I'll try and take these stickers off with my fingers a bit better. And uh, 4K and the Blu ray in there. So, I have actually got Jaws on Blu-ray, so I'll probably trade that and I probably won't get much for it, but uh, it just cleans up the shelves a bit, doesn't it? So, he, what Roy was saying when he was watching it was that the beach scenes, all the colours in the ocean, the complete differences in the colours in the ocean, they really, really stand out. Uh, so, looking forward to watching this when I eventually do get uh, an upgraded TV. Uh, but I might watch it. No, I like to save it. I'll save it. So, in the 4K, you get the making of Jaws, the shark still working, impact of the legacy of Jaws, Jaws the restoration, deleted scenes and outtakes from the set, and a original theatrical trailer. So, I think we all know the story of Jaws, don't we? But that is what I picked. That is what I picked up with the voucher. So, I picked up those two this week, and I just happened to be in the charity shop. 
And the charity shops had a set of Blu-rays lying there for ages and they're all £2. But most of them I've already got or they're worth £2. And I just happened to just take a wee second glance and there was a 4K in there. And it's a great showman on 4K. And I really, I, I really like this movie. Uh, so I thought, why not? I'll take that. It's also got the... Uh, Digital code for it. Wonder if any of them still work. I don't think any of them still work, do they? Really? Oh, it's got a receipt in it as well. Look, somebody paid twenty pound for this out of what? Okay. They did look. It was twenty pound for it on the fourteenth of May two thousand and eighteen. So I picked that up as well. I actually really enjoyed the Greatest Showman. I got free ticket tickets from Sky VIP one time when I used to have a Sky TV, and uh, the tickets were at the Great Show. And I thought, oh, well, we'll go to that. Me and my daughter went, and it was actually really, really good. I still like it. I've never seen that. You still not seen the Great Show, man? No. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna check to see if these these uh, see if these these uh, see if this digital code actually re actually redeems. Or you can redeem it now. Let's see if we can do it. Bet it doesn't work at all because none of them do, do they? So let's just check for sure. Hawksredeem.com. It does say enter your movie code. Let's try it. I don't know, I think this was going to. Have any chance of working? Redemption code doesn't appear to be valid. That's because I missed a number. Rubber. I just can't type. Let's type it again. It says continue. Redeem on Google Play. Just give me one second because I might already have this on Google Play or not. And if I, if I have, I'll give it away. Uh, let me just uh, recheck and see. That one says it expires in 2021, but it's still active. So let's have a wee look and just check. Because you know, no way like Flickster and that, it's all, it's all went into YouTube now. So it's in my library in YouTube, so let's, let's just check my library. Or your movies. Search my movies, Greatest Showman. I'll get copied out, you better turn it off. Yes, I actually have that in my library, The Greatest Showman. So let's have a look. Let me just go back to it. So I already have that in there. So if somebody wants to use this code, they can. Here it is up here, if you can see it. Can you see that in the camera all right, Arlie? No. Oh, it's starting to play something. Oh, it's starting to play one of my other movies, but turn it off. There you go. There we go, thank you. So if somebody wants to use that, then feel free. So I picked that, I said I picked that up too, and that's my three purchases. Uh, on 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 there. So I also want to thank uh, a couple of people for pointing out the Batman 4K trilogy. Uh, Larry Boyd went pointed out when I was out. Roy posted it, and just as I was uh, just as I was uh, out and about, 
uh, somebody else, uh, Magpie Movies, also went and said, listen, have you seen this? A deal for the twelve ninety nine for the Dark Knight trilogy uh, on four on four K. So thank you to guy all three of you guys for putting that out to me because I've been look, I have been waiting to try and snap on that Amazon deal for a while now, but it just keeps on keeps on disappear disappearing on me. So I picked that up too. He says he's not going to spend much on movies, and then I spent twenty pound this week. Twenty pounds not a massive amount, you know. Get me about half a day's electricity. <laughs> That's right. So there you go. Uh, yeah, speaking of that, all my lights are on, so I'm going, to, I'm going to finish filming, turn them off, and uh, contemplate my life choices. So, to help me with that, if you do want to subscribe and like the video, I'd appreciate it. Thanks very much.